Well, R.I.P. Now I'm looking like a naked mole rat. And I wore some, I wore the first set of burgundies, I wore the second, the silver, the beautiful silver chrome ones. And then that's my second set because they're short, they're easy to wear. I didn't over glue or under glue. They just, I've never had luck with these. My next step might have to be Gorilla Glue, which I don't think I would recommend anybody. But, and I just got done eating, so of course, naturally, there's a little bit of this and that. And then, R.I.P. here. Here you can see the, uh, the glue that was left behind. And they're too far down. I'm going to have to stop and let them grow because you really need, if you go in there with like, real bad nail beds to get a oh i don't know 150 dollar plus they want you got ten dollar tip um you know that sort of shit's getting too expensive and a lot of chicks are doing them at home but see i have no nail here and while i'm on this hand i don't know if you can see it but right here on the edge you see that black dot with the white around it if you have that on your finger now regardless of what you've you know, desecrated on your own, um, that's a sign of illness. See your doctor. Over here, you probably ain't going to be able to see it, but if you look real close, there's a ridge. There's two ridges. You can see them if you look. And my cut. Um, but there's two ridges right there. If you have ridges on your fingernails, go to the doctor. It's a sign of something. What? I can't remember, and I apologize. Just sitting here waiting on the hubby to come home. Oscar. Hello, beautiful. Say hello, Facebook. My mom is apeshit. She puts us on it all the time. Oh, any pretty... My beautiful boy. Where's Jojo? See his ears? Where's Daddy? He's looking at the door. Uh-oh, Jojo must be here. Jojo! Jojo gets, uh, gets shrimp today. Watch this. Jojo! Jojo, come here. Hello. Hello, baby boy. He's my sweet little love. Yeah, you, you know. I think I'm now a crazy cat lady. Not really. I've had them for, uh, this one's 10, the other one's 12. There's nothing crazy about loving, loving beautiful animals that love you back and ask for nothing. That's why, because they ask for nothing and they're so pure, that I think people all over the world what this button do? I don't know. Hey! How are you? Oh, I'm all the way up on the headboard. And I'm not even dressed. When you have more Gellin's disease, sometimes it's just easier to walk around with a big old t-shirt that's long enough to be a gown and pair of drawers because it hurts your skin. I would show you, but it's really, really gross and painful. And then Ed Lupus, God, look at that cat. Is he not beautiful or what? Can I nose boop? Oh, yes, yeah, sugars. I got no sugars. Uh oh, this daggum, this daggum collar. I can't do it with two hands. I had to put a band, a uh, clear rubber band to hold it. But I'm fixing to cut this off. It won't never stay put. And then he gets testy after about two minutes. He's like, okay, I've had enough. There, though. That'll work for a hot minute. Say hello, YouTube, Facebook. I'm so popular. I'm so regal. I'm so beautiful. I am so loved. So he gets to get the S-H-R-I-M-P. 
I can't, they, these cats are so smart and I spent so much, so every day of their life, um, I had Oscar first, got him trained up. He was feral as can be. And a woman had him living in a, um, a woman had him living in a playpen, one of them old 1970s that killed babies, you know. Um, and then he, he just come out my building one day. He was feral as ever, but he saw me and I saw him and it was like two cross side lovers. We ran to each other. I picked him up. I snuggled him. It's okay, Jojo. It's just house noise. I snuggled him. He would come and go. He'd go back to the building, hang out with his sissies. And then every time I come out that door, poof, he was there. And it was so funny. One day, um... We were out, I, he had come in, he had ate, and then he went back outside. And as soon as my husband cranked that lawnmower up, he said that cat was trying to scale the back door to get back in. So he cut it off, and he came in the house, and that was 10 years ago, and he's never been back out, nor will he ever. My only wish is that I outlive them, because people... People make fun of people, or people be like, how can you cry? It was just the animal. The bond, I've had him since he could fit in my hand. I've had that one ever since he could fit in a hand. So, and, you know, when the whole world tells you to go to hell, a, a kind, loving, innocent animal that's just looking for probably the same things in life that are good shows up, that's a blessing. I consider this cat my blessing because I wasn't ready for another cat. Oscar's high maintenance. But they're very intelligent, like I was saying. They know words. We can't say the word T-R-E-A-T because they could be in one of them cat comas. They could be in a cat coma and their asses come running. So bedtime for hubby is like eight or nine, and then I'll just, you know, lay here because, you know, this is what sick people do. They play on their phones. They lose fingernails. They eat lasagna, and they hang out with their cats on a Tuesday. I think it's Tuesday. I don't even know what damn day it is. Yeah, it's Tuesday. So there's that. Um, We can't say... we. Like, watch, watch the summies. Oh, Jojo. Where's Daddy? Where is he? Where's Daddy? Where's Oscar? Huh? Where's Oscar? Do you want to go outside? <gasps> what was that noise? Where's Daddy? Is Daddy coming? See, he's, he's all in the note, too. He's like, why do you keep calling my Daddy's name? That's just a beautiful place. He looked so different when he was born. He was, he was fawn, and the stri his, he had he has two strains. He's a Manx cat that was bred with a Bengal, and as he got older, he. He still has the Bengal traits, and sometimes he can be a little shit. But, of course, so can this one, because he likes to be like, I'm cute, I can get by with murder, which is true. <laughs> but this one here, he's like my grandpa cat. Uh-oh. He knows. They can tell time, too. They know. Let's see, is my clock right? Yeah. They know. So, see you later, Oski. Anyway, go for now. But thank you for stopping by if you did. As you can tell, there ain't much for me to vlog but just to talk to the outside world because it's sad. I don't have friends and all my family's dead and all my friends are digital in this little thing I hold in my hand. But it's a lonely life. No grandchildren, no family, no nothing. Just a husband who's a workaholic. And then spends the rest of his time drinking after work. Yay, me. I am happily married. I don't want that to sound dismal. But when you've been married to someone for 15 years and 
their mother dies, who was a bone of contention in your life, told my told my stepkids who don't give a shit about me either. Oh, Gypsy hates us. She thinks she's better than us. And I'm like, if you were asked what an 88 years old, me and you would have to tussle. And I'm going to fight dirty. Can't believe her. She died of COVID because people got stupid. Oh, she wanted her Christmas. She wanted, she wanted. And I'm like, well, she must have had a death wish. I'm rambling. This is private business, but I'm just saying now that they're saying COVID's making a comeback and I'm off hydrochloroquine, I'm a little concerned. But I don't know. You can't believe nothing that the damn news says anymore. You really can't. So, oh well. This is just a rambling, a rambling video. We're waiting on Daddy to come home. Um, I'm resting. I feel half-ass okay today. We're really, really, really tired. But, say, okay. Bye with them ruthless fingernails. Peace, y'all.